guess what we have? We have what I am calling my Jingle Bell Junk Journals. And now that is why. Aren't they pretty? Oh my gosh, wait until you see these. They're just loaded, loaded, loaded. I can't, these, the big, the little ones can hardly close. The bigger ones, they close a little bit better, but uh, these seem like they're a little fatter because they're little chunky monkeys. Let's just take a look at these, shall we? Okay, so first off, let me run by what I have. I have one of these. This is called the Berry Junk Journal. Why is this so close? Hold on, let me fix this. It's just like you're so close. I don't know why. Oh, that's better. And then let's turn the autofocus off. Is that That's better. Now I don't feel like you're all up in my grill. You're up in my grill. So this is the Berry right the, the berry junk journal and this is the plaid these are the plaids these are the cardinal you know you won't have a you know journal junk without cardinals and these are the holly berries okay so i have there's one two three four five six seven here um i've already sold one of these sight unseen i have to tell you it's so great i have a lady I love her to pieces. She orders from me sight unseen two months ago. She says, are you making Christmas journals? I said, yes, I am. I don't know when. And she said, I want one sight unseen. I'll pay whatever. <laughs> I love her to pieces. You know who you are. If you're watching, thank you very much. This one is not yours. Yours is right here. Here's yours getting ready to go. So I'm getting ready to pack that up for you. But that's your journal. But these are... Um, I just, first off, let me thank you for your order in advance. That was really sweet of you. I normally don't do that, but she says, are you, do you have some, are you making some? I said, yes. And then I started, I mean, you know how long it's taken me to get into these journals? Like two months, you guys, like two months. And my daughter said, I'll help you, mom. And then she didn't. And so here I am sitting with eight packed journals. I had, I stuffed them. You know, I, it's a lot of work. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of work. And so... Uh, needless to say, it's a lot of fun, but it's very time consuming and I'm glad that they're finished. I'm not going to lie. I'm really glad that they're finished. So let me run this by you. I have three large ones like this, but just one of these berries. Okay. I have two holly berries and they're a little sparkly. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on there. A little bit, a little bit. There you go. There's some sparkle. You can see the sparkle. This one has a little sparkle too. Hey, what's a little, what's a Jingle Bell journal without a little bit of spark? So there's those. And then here's the other uh, Holly Berry one in all of its glory. See, there's some sparkle. Isn't that pretty? So I left them plain because here, let me tell you what these journals are all about. These are all about you. They are sewn in. Every one of them have sewn in signatures. Every one of them have three sewn in signatures. All of them have three sewn in signatures, as you can see. Um, every one of them. But they are junk journals, and they're kind of flowish. But usually flow journals aren't sewn in. So these are kind of a hybrid of a flow slash uh, junk journal. So they're, I'm just calling them Jingle Bell journals, you, and you can do with what you want. You can take all of the ephemera out. These are all Christmas ephemera. It's just Christmas stuff. There might be one or two little items that have made their way in there just because they were sitting there and thought, why not? But they're mostly Christmas stuff, and they are junk journals. And the stuff that is in here is meant to be used in your Christmas junk journals, okay? So if you have like a Christmas fatty patty like I do, which I will be working on really soon, um, you'll love this stuff. This is basically for that or whatever, you know, your Christmas collages or whatever, and they're cram packed. So you have a couple different options with these. Because of the Sonian signatures, you can take this out and use these books as books, as your own Christmas journals, or you can use them as fatty patties. And leave all the stuff in and work around or take all the stuff out and put it back in the way you like it. I mean, the, the, the possibilities are endless. And these charms are something that you can take off and use in your own charm. So this is basically a supply book that's put together nicely so you can keep it as is or rip it apart. It's all up to you. So I have one of these and two of these uh, green ones. And the... Uh, Measurements on these large ones, I'm calling these large and I'm calling medium because they're not small. They're medium. <laughs> so the large ones are 10 by 6 by 3 um, approximately, okay? So they're pretty big. They're pretty fat. I don't even know which one I want to show you. 
but I'll just show you uh, this one maybe. I don't know. Yeah, why not? So we're going to run through one of these and then we're going to run through the small ones. But let me show you uh, the small ones really quick. Okay, so again, these don't have a closure. So when you get them, I'll probably tie them up with a ribbon because they're pretty fat and I need them to close pretty good so that I can put them in the package packaging. Again, you have a, a mishmash of different types of bells and bits and bobs, beads, buttons, bows, bling. I mean, these are, I, I like this bling. This was a fun bling. This is on the, a cardinal. I put a little thing on the top there. Isn't that beautiful? I just put that up there for, because why not, right? So they're a lot of fun. There's a lot of mishmash. Um, everyone has kind of the same stuff, but a little bit different. So, you know, the, it's a mishmash of what it is. So, um, I can't promise you that what you see here, you're going to get, but you're going to get stuff like it. Okay. So just know that. So everything is similar. So let's just get started. Uh, I've used some, um, Christmas scrap paper. I've just put a lot of different things in here. There's pockets with just things to cut out. Oh, and this one is how Rudolph came to be. It's the story of Rudolph. You can read that. Some, some, uh, cards. Maybe I will come down a little bit so you can see this part better. And just see this part just a little pinch better. There we go. Oh, that's too close. Up close and personal. So there's that. Um, just some different ephemera that you can play with. All of the all of the pages came from Christmas books and cards. Oh, that's the other thing. There's going to be an old-fashioned Christmas card. And the Christmas card is a used one that somebody actually wrote back in the day. Okay, so for instance, this is from... Who got this one? Um, this is 1945. So I'm not sure what year or who yours is going to come from but you see what i'm saying let me pull that out just a pinch i feel like i'm scooched up too far there we go and then oh and i've got a painted one of those painted canvases that i did everybody gets one of those and just some more it's all christmas ephemera and christmas paper and i'm going to flip through quite fast so you can see that it's just stuff that you can use in your um you can cut these out and use i added christmas cards in here you can cut them out and 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 t make tags out of them oh there's a lot of old-fashioned um postcards in here as, as well you might have three or four maybe five of those some christmas napkins i'm gonna whip through fast because it's gonna be hard christmas paper just a lot of christmas ephemera some beautiful uh illustration you know more christmas ephemera napkins um lots and lots of cute napkins or santy santa claus so yeah, it's really it was a lot of fun making these for you. Actually, this is gonna come out. Oh, I'll leave it and find another one to give you. Um, I was gonna use those to write my note to you because I do send everybody a, a note too. So there's a lots of different stuff in here to use for your Christmas. That's cute. Christmas, um, Christmas enjoyment. Christmas card. Another postcard. Some another Christmas card. This has got the glitter on it. I love that. Um, and then just some more just junk, you know, just to play with, you know, it's just full of Christmas ephemera. What can I say for your fatty patty? If you're looking for, um, ephemera or anything for any Christmas project you've got going on, this is here. This is fabric right here. This is a piece. This is a cardinal piece of fabric. I thought that was really pretty. So I added one. Actually, every, everybody's going to get one of those. If you don't let me know, I have more, I think if not, I can give you something like it. Here's some, some more of those old-fashioned postcards. Just, you know, the book itself is where you can just, you know, put paper down and use it as a journal. Again, it's sewn in. Or you can use it as a um, um, fatty patty and start gluing in. Or take everything out and use it for what you want. There's some washi tape and some more stickers. A little Christmas tree. A Christmas card. And on the last signature, just some more ephemera. A little snowman. Maybe I will show you a couple of these books and these beautiful illustrations. Oh, and there's an old-fashioned Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer paper in each one. And this one's just got some, some cutouts. I think someone gave those to me. I'm passing them on. And some tags. Oh, I think I made that. And then a little, um, what do you call that guy? Soldier guy. And then, oh, Nutcracker. And there's some more Nutcrackers. And then just some more stuff, tons and tons of stuff. So there's some washi tape. So the beauty of this is that all of the stuff that you're going to get in the book, not only that, another napkin, is the book itself. So yes, it's an ephemera book, but the book itself is a Christmas book. So it's all about Christmas. And um, 
there you have it. It's all about Christmas. And so you can take all of this stuff out of this and have a Christmas book to enjoy for years and years and years. Let's go ahead and just flip through another one here for you really quick. Here's another one. Um, this one's got more postcards. It all, basically everybody has kind of the same stuff. You know, obviously the chains are a little, charms are a little different, but, um, you know, the same. Everybody's, you know, so yeah. And I'll probably add a little bit more to the mix when I'm um, putting them in, but I'm not sure because uh, the, um, you know, my shipping is so expensive. Well, I put a little Christmas King card in there, or pen, some more um, paper, more cards, little things to play with. So it's just fun to kind of flip through and see what you're going to get. And you know, here's a piece of paper with a little Santa uh, snowman on it. Here's that Rudolph paper, which I love. Some old fashioned um, images there, some buttons. Some, those are cute. A moose guy. So as you can see, everyone's about basically the same, but a little bit different too. And it just, oh, it took me so long just to get everything stacked in here, you guys. Oh, I'm not kidding you. The stacking. I mean, I'm, I'm not lying. The stacking. <laughs> it was fun though, but I'm glad it's over. And I'm honestly, I don't think I'm going to be making any more flow journals for a while. I think I'm done with the flow business for a bit because it's so time consuming. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be making like one or two books at a time and sell them that way because I'm telling you, you guys, it's a lot of work, a lot, a lot of work. And especially this time, I thought my daughter was going to help me. Mm -hmm. I'm having some tea tonight and she didn't help her mom. So I'm like, Lauren, I need your help with some scrap paper. I'll probably add some add, added scrap paper to some of the um, things. That's what I'll do because I don't I don't want to make these too much thicker because they're already beefy enough because of this too, you know. So those are the larger ones, and the smaller ones are basically the same. So let's let me put this away over there because I would hate to spill it. And the smaller ones are chunky little monkeys, you know. Every and this one has a little greeting card right there, and just is just fun stuff. Now you can tear tear these up, tear out the pages, use them. You can reuse the books for folders, whatever you want to do. There's the, um, the possibilities are endless with these things. You know, if I got one, I'd probably take everything out and then start using it as my own glue book and put things in it the where I want to put in it, you know, just like that. That's what I would do. I would start using the ephemera. Somebody sent this to me. I think I'm not sure, but there was no name on it. So it ended up here. Um, I went through all of my Christmas stuff the best that I could to try to clean out what I could. Some more postcards. And, um, oh, a little, a little postcard or something in there. I missed a couple of spots here. I might have to go through and add some stuff. But it's hard to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. It looks like I do need to, I missed a couple of spots. I should take care of those. I don't want anybody to get empty. Even if I put some more postcards in it, that would be sweet. So, yeah. So there you have it. Yeah, this one needs a little bit more packing and stacking. I think I went the back, the back way and then forgot the middle part. So we'll just put some more in there. So every every pocket's going to have a little something something in it for sure. But I'll sit down and do There's your card, no? I'll sit down and do that tomorrow night. Some more napkins and more paper. All kinds of paper to use. So again, you, you know, you can use this as is. Take everything out and keep the book and use the book however you want to use the book. That's what I would do. Um, and just start gluing your own stuff in here, you know. Or, um, isn't she cute? She's got her little, oh, so cute. So anyway, these are online and I hope that you enjoy them. And know that I will not be making any more of these for a while. So these, these are the green holly. These are the medium plaids. I have two of those. I have two... Two of these medium cardinals, with, and they're chock full of stuff. I think I need to go through this one and add a little bit more to it for some reason. It just didn't look like it had enough in it. But, you know, I'll do, I'll, before I pack, pack them, I always take a look. So, that's it. I have two of the medium plaids, which is sparkly. Two of the cardinals. There's no sparkle on the cardinal, but there's plenty of sparkle in the charm. One large cranberry, which is beautiful. It's got the postage on it. It's really pretty. 
and two of the holly berry. So there you go. And these are my Jingle Bell, um, Jingle Bell junk journals. So I hope you love these, you guys. They're on Etsy right now. And again, this is my last junk journals for a while because it really took it out of me to make these. It's a lot of work. I've been actually started these in the end of October, maybe the middle of October, and did the covers, then I did the signatures, then I did, you know, and it takes a lot of time. And today it took me all day to do all the charms. So it's a big job. So for that, I am enjoying some of these Kiss Cherries. Have you ever seen these? Okay, you guys, these come out only once a year and they're kisses, but they have, you know, those chocolate covered cordials, cherries you get every year, or actually all the time, like Queen Anne, I think they're called. Some people think they're icky. I kind of love them. But these are the chocolate covered kisses that taste just like the chocolate covered cherries and they only come out once a year and I've got mine. Mm, okay. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys love these as much as I love making them for you. Thank you for your support. This is my one way to really give out and give something to you that is a part of me. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. All right, you guys, you take care and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye guys. Thank you again. Bye now.